In solid state physics, the electron mobility characterizes how quickly an electron can move through a metal or semiconductor, when pulled by an electric field. There is an analogous quantity for holes, called hole mobility. The term carrier mobility refers in general to both electron and hole mobility. Electron and hole mobility are special cases of electrical mobility of charged particles in a fluid under an applied electric field. When an electric field E is applied across a piece of material, the electrons respond by moving with an average velocity called the drift velocity V D display style V underscore D. Then the electron mobility μ is defined as V D equals mu e display style v underscore d equals mu e electron mobility is almost always specified in units of cm2 vs this is different from the si unit of mobility m2 vs they are related by 1 square meter vs equals 104 square centimeters vs conductivity is proportional to the product of mobility and carrier concentration for example the same conductivity could come from a small number of electrons with high mobility for each or a large number of electrons with a small mobility for each for metals, it would not typically matter which of these is the case, since most metal electrical behavior depends on conductivity alone. Therefore mobility is relatively unimportant in metal physics. On the other hand, for semiconductors, the behavior of transistors and other devices can be very different depending on whether there are many electrons with low mobility or few electrons with high mobility. Therefore mobility is a very important parameter for semiconductor materials. Almost always, higher mobility leads to better device performance, with other things equal. Semiconductor mobility depends on the impurity concentrations including donor and acceptor concentrations, defect concentration, temperature, and electron and hole concentrations. It also depends on the electric field, particularly at high fields when velocity saturation occurs. It can be determined by the whole effect, or inferred from transistor behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Introduction <laughs> Drift velocity in an electric field Without any applied electric field, in a solid, electrons and holes move around randomly. Therefore, on average there will be no overall motion of charge carriers in any particular direction over time. However, when an electric field is applied, each electron or hole is accelerated by the electric field. If the electron were in a vacuum, it would be accelerated to ever-increasing velocity called ballistic transport. However, in a solid, the electron repeatedly scatters off crystal defects, phonons, impurities, etc., so that it loses some energy and changes direction. The final result is that the electron moves with a finite average velocity, called the drift velocity. This net electron motion is usually much slower than the normally occurring random motion. The two charge carriers, electrons and holes, will typically have different drift velocities for the same electric field. Quasi-ballistic transport is possible in solids if the electrons are accelerated across a very small distance as small as the mean free path, or for a very short time, as short as the mean free time. In these cases drift velocity and mobility are not meaningful. Topic. Definition and units The electron mobility is defined by the equation V D equals mu E display style V underscore D equals mu E where 
E is the magnitude of the electric field applied to a material. Vd is the magnitude of the electron drift velocity, in other words, the electron drift speed caused by the electric field, and micro is the electron mobility, the hole mobility is defined by the same equation. Both electron and hole mobilities are positive by definition. Usually, the electron drift velocity in a material is directly proportional to the electric field, which means that the electron mobility is a constant independent of electric field. When this is not true, for example, in very large electric fields, the mobility depends on the electric field. The SI unit of velocity is meter per second, and the SI unit of electric field is V per meter. Therefore the SI unit of mobility is meter per second, V per meter. Topic M2 vs. However, mobility is much more commonly expressed in CM2 vs. 10 minus 4 square meters vs. Mobility is usually a strong function of material impurities and temperature, and is determined empirically. Mobility values are typically presented in table or chart form. Mobility is also different for electrons and holes in a given material. Topic: <laughs> Relation to conductivity. There is a simple relation between mobility and electrical conductivity. Let n be the number density concentration of electrons, and let mu e be their mobility. In the electric field E, each of these electrons will move with the velocity vector minus mu e e display style mu underscore e math bf e for a total current density of n e mu e e display style ne mu underscore e math bf e where e is the elementary charge therefore the electrical conductivity sigma satisfies sigma equals n e mu e display style sigma equals ne mu underscore e this formula is valid when the conductivity is due entirely to electrons. In a p-type semiconductor, the conductivity is due to holes instead, but the formula is essentially the same if p is the concentration of holes and μh is the hole mobility, then the conductivity is sigma equals p e mu h Display style sigma equals p e mu underscore h. If a semiconductor has both electrons and holes, the total conductivity is sigma equals e n mu e plus p mu h. Display style sigma equals e n mu underscore e plus p mu underscore h. Topic examples. Typical electron mobility for C at room temperature 300 K is 1,400 square centimeters vs, and the hole mobility is around 450 square centimeters vs. Very high mobility has been found in several low-dimensional systems, such as two-dimensional electron gases 2 DEG, 35 million square centimeters vs, at low temperature, carbon nanotubes 100,000 square centimeters. Centimeters vs at room temperature, and more recently, graphene, 200,000 square centimeters vs at low temperature. Organic semiconductors, polymer, oligomer, developed thus far have carrier mobilities below 50 square centimeters vs, and usually much lower.
Topic: Electric field dependence and velocity saturation. At low fields, the drift velocity Vd is proportional to the electric field E, so mobility μ is constant. This value of μ is called the low field mobility. As the electric field is increased, however, the carrier velocity increases sublinearly and asymptotically towards a maximum possible value, called the saturation velocity Vsat. For example, the value of Vsat is on the order of 1 times 107 cm per second for both electrons and holes in C. It is on the order of 6 times 106 cm per second for GE. This velocity is a characteristic of the material and a strong function of doping or impurity levels and temperature. It is one of the key material and semiconductor device properties that determine a device such as a transistor's ultimate limit of speed of response and frequency. This velocity saturation phenomenon results from a process called optical phonon scattering. At high fields, carriers are accelerated enough to gain sufficient kinetic energy between collisions to emit an optical phonon, and they do so very quickly, before being accelerated once again. The velocity that the electron reaches before emitting a phonon is m v e m i t 2 2 approximately equals omega p h o n o n o p t display style frac m caret asterisk b underscore emit caret 2 2 approx h b a r omega underscore phonon opt where omega phonon opt is the optical phonon angular frequency and m asterisk the carrier effective mass in the direction of the electric field. The value of phonon opt is 0.063 electron volts for C and 0.034 electron volts for gallium-3 arsenide and GE. The saturation velocity is only one half of vemit because the electron starts at zero velocity and accelerates up to vemit in each cycle. This is a somewhat oversimplified description. Velocity saturation is not the only possible high field behavior. Another is the gun effect, where a sufficiently high electric field can cause intervalley electron transfer, which reduces drift velocity. This is unusual, increasing the electric field almost always increases the drift velocity, or else leaves it unchanged. The result is negative differential resistance. In the regime of velocity saturation or other high field effects, mobility is a strong function of electric field. This means that mobility is a somewhat less useful concept, compared to simply discussing drift velocity directly. Topic. Relation between scattering and mobility Recall that by definition, mobility is dependent on the drift velocity. The main factor determining drift velocity other than effective mass is scattering time, i.e. how long the carrier is ballistically accelerated by the electric field until it scatters collides with something that changes its direction and or energy. The most important sources of scattering in typical semiconductor materials, discussed below, are ionized impurity scattering and acoustic phonon scattering, also called lattice scattering. In some cases other sources of scattering may be important, such as neutral impurity scattering, optical phonon scattering, surface scattering, and defect scattering. Elastic scattering means that energy is almost conserved during the scattering event. Some elastic scattering processes are scattering from acoustic phonons, impurity scattering, piezoelectric scattering, etc. In acoustic phonon scattering, electrons scatter from state k to k, while emitting or absorbing a phonon of wave vector q. 
This phenomenon is usually modeled by assuming that lattice vibrations cause small shifts in energy bands. The additional potential causing the scattering process is generated by the deviations of bands due to these small transitions from frozen lattice positions. Topic: <laughs> Ionized impurity scattering. Semiconductors are doped with donors and or acceptors, which are typically ionized, and are thus charged. The Coulombic forces will deflect an electron or hole approaching the ionized impurity. This is known as ionized impurity scattering. The amount of deflection depends on the speed of the carrier and its proximity to the ion. The more heavily a material is doped, the higher the probability that a carrier will collide with an ion in a given time, and the smaller the mean free time between collisions, and the smaller the mobility. When determining the strength of these interactions due to the long-range nature of the Coulomb potential, other impurities and free carriers cause the range of interaction with the carriers to reduce significantly compared to bare Coulomb interaction. If these scatterers are near the interface, the complexity of the problem increases due to the existence of crystal defects and disorders. Charge trapping centers that scatter free carriers form in many cases due to defects associated with dangling bonds. Scattering happens because after trapping a charge, the defect becomes charged and therefore starts interacting with free carriers. If scattered carriers are in the inversion layer at the interface, the reduced dimensionality of the carriers makes the case differ from the case of bulk impurity scattering as carriers move only in two dimensions. Interfacial roughness also causes short-range scattering limiting the mobility of quasi-two-dimensional electrons at the interface. Lattice phonon scattering At any temperature above absolute zero, the vibrating atoms create pressure acoustic waves in the crystal, which are termed phonons. Like electrons, phonons can be considered to be particles. A phonon can interact collide with an electron or hole and scatter it. At higher temperature, there are more phonons, and thus increased electron scattering, which tends to reduce mobility. Piezoelectric scattering Piezoelectric effect can occur only in compound semiconductor due to their polar nature. It is small in most semiconductors but may lead to local electric fields that cause scattering of carriers by deflecting them. This effect is important mainly at low temperatures where other scattering mechanisms are weak. These electric fields arise from the distortion of the basic unit cell as strain is applied in certain directions in the lattice. Topic. Surface roughness scattering Surface roughness scattering caused by interfacial disorder is short-range scattering limiting the mobility of quasi-two-dimensional electrons at the interface. From high-resolution transmission electron micrographs, it has been determined that the interface is not abrupt on the atomic level, but actual position of the interfacial plane varies one or two atomic layers along the surface. These variations are random and cause fluctuations of the energy levels at the interface, which then causes scattering. Topic: Alloy scattering. In compound alloy semiconductors, which many thermoelectric materials are, scattering caused by the perturbation of crystal potential due to the random positioning of substituting atom species in a relevant sublattice is known as alloy scattering. This can only happen in ternary or higher alloys as their crystal structure forms by randomly replacing some atoms in one of the sublattices of the crystal structure. 
Generally, this phenomenon is quite weak but in certain materials or circumstances, it can become dominant effect limiting conductivity. In bulk materials, interface scattering is usually ignored. Inelastic scattering During inelastic scattering processes, significant energy exchange happens. As with elastic phonon scattering also in the inelastic case, the potential arises from energy band deformations caused by atomic vibrations. Optical phonons causing inelastic scattering usually have the energy in the range 30 to 50 MeV. For comparison, energies of acoustic phonon are typically less than 1 MeV, but some might have energy in order of 10 MeV. There is significant change in carrier energy during the scattering process. Optical or high energy acoustic phonons can also cause intervalley or interband scattering, which means that scattering is not limited within single valley. Topic: <laughs> Electron-electron scattering. Due to the Pauli exclusion principle, electrons can be considered as non-interacting if their density does not exceed the value 1016 to 1017 cm3 or electric field value 103 volts per centimeter. However, significantly above these limits electron-electron scattering starts to dominate. Long range and nonlinearity of the Coulomb potential governing interactions between electrons make these interactions difficult to deal with. Topic: <laughs> Relation between mobility and scattering time. A simple model gives the approximate relation between scattering time, average time between scattering events and mobility. It is assumed that after each scattering event, the carrier's motion is randomized, so it has zero average velocity. After that, it accelerates uniformly in the electric field, until it scatters again. The resulting average drift mobility is μ equals Q M tau. Display style mu equals frac q m caret asterisk overline tau, where q is the elementary charge, m asterisk is the carrier effective mass, and tau is the average scattering time. If the effective mass is anisotropic, direction dependent, m asterisk is the effective mass in the direction of the electric field. Topic: Matheson's rule. Normally, more than one source of scattering is present. For example, both impurities and lattice phonons. It is normally a very good approximation to combine their influences using Matheson's rule, developed from work by Augustus Matheson in 1864. One mu equals one. Mu I M P U R I T I E S plus one Mu L A T T I C E Display style frac one mu equals frac one mu underscore room impurities plus frac one mu underscore room lattice, where micro is the actual mobility mu i m p u r i t i e s Display style mu underscore room impurities is the mobility that the material would have if there was impurity scattering but no other source of scattering and mu l a t t i 
C E display style mu underscore room lattice is the mobility that the material would have if there was lattice phonon scattering but no other source of scattering. Other terms may be added for other scattering sources, for example, one mu equals one mu i m p u r i t i e s plus one mu l a t t i c e plus one mu d e f e c t s plus Display style frac one mu equals frac one mu underscore room impurities plus frac one mu underscore room lattice plus frac one mu underscore room defects plus C D O T S. Matheson's rule can also be stated in terms of the scattering time one tau equals one tau I M P U R I T I E S plus one Tau L A T T I C E plus one Tau D E F E C T S plus Display style frac one tau equals frac one tau underscore room impurities plus frac one tau underscore room lattice plus frac one tau underscore room defects plus C D O T S where tau is the true average scattering time and tau impurities is the scattering time if there was impurity scattering but no other source of scattering, etc. Matheson's rule is an approximation and is not universally valid. This rule is not valid if the factors affecting the mobility depend on each other, because individual scattering probabilities cannot be summed unless they are independent of each other. The average free time of flight of a carrier and therefore the relaxation time is inversely proportional to the scattering probability. For example, lattice scattering alters the average electron velocity in the electric field direction, which in turn alters the tendency to scatter off impurities. There are more complicated formulas that attempt to take these effects into account. Topic: <laughs> Temperature dependence of mobility. With increasing temperature, phonon concentration increases and causes increased scattering. Thus lattice scattering lowers the carrier mobility more and more at higher temperature. Theoretical calculations reveal that the mobility in nonpolar semiconductors, such as silicon and germanium, is dominated by acoustic phonon interaction. The resulting mobility is expected to be proportional to T3 halves, while the mobility due to optical phonon scattering only is expected to be proportional to T1 half. Experimentally, values of the temperature dependence of the mobility in C, G, E, and gallium 3 arsenide are listed in table as 1 tau V sigma. Display style frac one tau propto left langle v right wrangle sigma where sigma display style sigma is the scattering cross section for electrons and holes at a scattering center and v 
display style left Langle v right Wrangle is a thermal average Boltzmann statistics over all electron or hole velocities in the lower conduction band or upper valence band. Temperature dependence of the mobility can be determined. In here, the following definition for the scattering cross section is used: number of particles scattered into solid angle d omega per unit time divided by number of particles per area per time incident intensity, which comes from classical mechanics. As Boltzmann statistics are valid for semiconductors, V T display style left Langle V right Wrangle sim sqrt T for scattering from acoustic phonons for temperatures well above Debye temperature, the estimated cross section sigma pH is determined from the square of the average vibrational amplitude of a phonon to be proportional to T. The scattering from charge defects, ionized donors or acceptors, leads to the cross section sigma d e f v minus Four. Display style sigma underscore def propto left langle v right wrangle carrot minus four. This formula is the scattering cross section for Rutherford scattering, where a point charge carrier moves past another point charge defect experiencing Coulomb interaction. The temperature dependencies of these two scattering mechanisms in semiconductors can be determined by combining formulas for tau, sigma, and v. Display style left Langle v right Wrangle to be for scattering from acoustic phonons mu p h t minus three two Display style mu underscore pH sim t carrot minus three halves, and from charge defects mu d e f t three two display style mu underscore def sim t carrot three halves. The effect of ionized impurity scattering, however, decreases with increasing temperature because the average thermal speeds of the carriers are increased. Thus, the carriers spend less time near an ionized impurity as they pass and the scattering effect of the ions is thus reduced. These two effects operate simultaneously on the carriers through Matheson's rule. At lower temperatures, ionized impurity scattering dominates, while at higher temperatures, phonon scattering dominates, and the actual mobility reaches a maximum at an intermediate temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Measurement of semiconductor mobility <laughs> Hall mobility Carrier mobility is most commonly measured using the Hall effect. The result of the measurement is called the Hall mobility, meaning mobility inferred from a Hall effect measurement. Consider a semiconductor sample with a rectangular cross section as shown in the figures. A current is flowing in the x direction and a magnetic field is applied in the z direction. The resulting Lorentz force will accelerate the electrons n-type materials or holes p-type materials in the minus y direction according to the right-hand rule and set up an electric field Xi y. As a result there is a voltage across the sample which can be measured with a high impedance voltmeter. This voltage VH is called the Hall voltage. VH is negative for n-type material and positive for p-type material. Mathematically, the Lorentz force acting on a charge Q is given by for electrons F H N equals minus Q V N times B Z 
Display style overwrite arrow F underscore H N equals Q overwrite arrow V underscore N times overwrite arrow B underscore Z for holes F H P equals plus Q V P times B Z Display style overwrite arrow F underscore H P equals plus Q overwrite arrow V underscore P times overwrite arrow B underscore Z. In steady state, this force is balanced by the force set up by the Hall voltage, so that there is no net force on the carriers in the y direction. For electron F y equals minus Q she y plus minus Q V n times B Z equals zero Display style overwrite arrow F underscore Y equals Q overwrite arrow she underscore Y plus Q overwrite arrow V underscore N times overwrite arrow B underscore Z equals zero minus Q she Y plus Q V X B Z equals zero. Display style right arrow Q she underscore Y plus Q V underscore X B underscore Z equals zero. She Y equals V X B Z Display style she underscore y equals v underscore x b underscore z. For electrons, the field points in the y direction, and for holes, it p points in the plus y direction. The electron current I is given by I equals minus q n v x T W display style I equals Q N V underscore X T W sub V X into the expression for she Y she Y equals minus I B N Q T W equals Plus R H N I B T W Display style she underscore Y equals frac ib N Q T W equals plus frac R underscore H N ib T W where R H N is the whole coefficient for electron and is defined as R H N equals minus one N Q display style R underscore H N equals frac one N Q since she Y equals V H W Display style she underscore y equals frac v underscore h w r h n equals minus one n q equals v h n t i b Display style R underscore H N equals frac one NQ equals frac V underscore H N T Ib Similarly, for holes R H P equals 
1 p q equals v h p t i b Display style R underscore H P equals frac one P Q equals frac V underscore H P T Ib From the Hall coefficient, we can obtain the carrier mobility as follows Mu N equals minus N Q Mu N minus one N Q equals minus sigma N R H N display style mu underscore N equals N Q mu underscore N frac one N Q equals sigma underscore N R underscore H N equals minus sigma N V H N T I V display style equals frac sigma underscore N V underscore H N T if similarly mu P equals sigma P V H P T I V display style mu underscore p equals frac sigma underscore p v underscore h p t. Here the value of v h p whole voltage t sample thickness i current and b magnetic field can be measured directly, and the conductivities sigma n or sigma p are either known or can be obtained from measuring the resistivity. Topic: Field effect mobility. The mobility can also be measured using a field effect transistor, FET. The result of the measurement is called the field effect mobility, meaning mobility inferred from a field effect measurement. The measurement can work in two ways: from saturation mode measurements or linear region measurements. See MOSFET for a description of the different modes or regions of operation. Topic: <laughs> Using saturation mode. In this technique, for each fixed gate voltage VGS, the drain source voltage VDS is increased until the current ID saturates. Next, the square root of this saturated current is plotted against the gate voltage, and the slope MSAT is measured. Then the mobility is μ equals m s a t two two l w one c i Display style mu equals m underscore sat carrot two frac two l w frac one c underscore i, where l and w are the length and width of the channel and c i is the gate insulator capacitance per unit area. This equation comes from the approximate equation for a MOSFET in saturation mode. I d equals mu c I two W L V G S minus V T H two Display style I underscore D equals frac mu C underscore I two frac W L V underscore G S V underscore T H carrot two where fifth is the threshold voltage. This approximation ignores the early effect channel length modulation, among other things. 
In practice, this technique may underestimate the true mobility. Topic: <laughs> Using the linear region. In this technique, the transistor is operated in the linear region or ohmic mode, where VDS is small and I D V G S display style i underscore d propto v underscore g s with slope m l i n. Then the mobility is mu equals m l i n l w one v d s one C I display style mu equals m underscore lin frac l w frac one v underscore d s frac one c underscore i. This equation comes from the approximate equation for a MOSFET in the linear region I d equals mu c i w L V G S minus V T H V D S minus V D S two two Display style I underscore D equals mu C underscore I frac W L left V underscore G S V underscore T H V underscore D S frac V underscore D S carrot two two right. In practice, this technique may overestimate the true mobility, because if VDS is not small enough and VG is not large enough, the MOSFET may not stay in the linear region. Topic. Optical mobility Electron mobility may be determined from non-contact laser photoreflectance measurements. A series of photoreflectance measurements are made as the sample is stepped through focus. The electron diffusion length and recombination time are determined by a regressive fit to the data. Then the Einstein relation is used to calculate the mobility. topic terahertz mobility electron mobility can be calculated from time resolved terahertz probe measurement femtosecond laser pulses excite the semiconductor and the resulting photoconductivity is measured using a terahertz probe which detects changes in the terahertz electric field topic Doping concentration dependence in heavily doped silicon The charge carriers in semiconductors are electrons and holes. Their numbers are controlled by the concentrations of impurity elements, i.e. doping concentration. Thus doping concentration has great influence on carrier mobility. While there is considerable scatter in the experimental data, for non-compensated material no counter -doping for heavily doped substrates i.e. 10 18 C 18 C 18 C M minus 3 display style 10 carat 18 mathrm cm carat minus 3 and up, the mobility in silicon is often characterized by the empirical relationship mu equals mu o plus mu one one plus n n ref alpha Display style mu equals mu underscore o plus frac mu underscore one one plus frac n n underscore text ref caret alpha. 
where N is the doping concentration either ND or Na, and NREF and α are fitting parameters. At room temperature, the above equation becomes Majority carriers mu N N D equals sixty five plus twelve sixty five one plus N D eight point five times ten sixteen zero point seven two Display style mu underscore n n underscore d equals sixty five plus frac twelve sixty five one plus frac n underscore d eight point five times ten carat sixteen carat zero point seven two mu p n a equals forty eight plus four hundred and forty seven one plus N A six point three times ten sixteen zero point seven six Display style mu underscore p n underscore a equals forty eight plus frac four hundred and forty seven one plus frac n underscore a six point three times ten carat sixteen carat zero seventy six minority carriers mu n n a equals two hundred and thirty two Plus eleven eighty one plus N A eight times ten sixteen zero point nine Display style mu underscore n n underscore a equals two hundred and thirty two plus frac eleven eighty one plus frac n underscore a eight times ten carat sixteen carat zero point nine mu p n d equals one hundred and thirty plus three hundred and seventy one plus N D eight times ten seventeen one point two five Display style mu underscore p n underscore d equals one hundred and thirty plus frac three hundred and seventy one plus frac n underscore d eight times ten carat seventeen carat one point two five. These equations apply only to silicon and only under low field. Topic. See also. Speed of electricity